YouTubers, and welcome back to the old deer hunter channel. We're back at the range today. I've got the 243 Tika. Uh, we've done a few upgrades to it since the last video, so I'm going to show you a couple of those things. And then we'll have some new uh, loads to uh, chronograph and uh, also check the groups on, so we're going to be doing that. And I'll try to make it uh, short and concise this time so you don't have to <laughs> hear a lot of my, my talking. But the first thing I want to do is, you know, ask you to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that notification bell so you'll know when we have the next video. As you know, if you've seen the last video about the Tika, we've been uh, working with the Tika uh, T3 243 caliber, and we've made a few changes. This is our last video. We've changed the scope out from the Whiskey 3 to a Lupo VX2 4-12. Uh, I think this, I may be able to aim a little better to those, get those a bit smaller groups with this scope. And also we've done a few other things to make it uh, work with our tripod system and make it more effective when we're coyote hunting or, or any other type of hunting. We've added an Arca rail to the bottom of the uh, stock. It just so happens that inside the stock uh, there are cross hatches. I'll show you a, a, a photo of it, but it works real well with a 60 millimeter Arca mount that'll clamp right into the clamp mount that we use on our tripod setup to hunt coyotes. Uh, I think this is going to work well. It, it seems to be, you know, pretty tight. You know, only time will tell if it's going to hold up, but I think it's a, a good alternative. The other thing is that we took it down to Jefferson uh, to grizzly guns and Steve Smith uh, threaded the barrel for us so now we can use a suppressor. I tell you what, uh, I don't know if you uh, website in the uh, description below. If, if you're in North Georgia and you need a uh, service like uh, Cerakoting or threading your barrel, I mean, I took this thing down there on Tuesday he calls me back on Friday and says, hey, you want to pick up your gun? <laughs> I said, yeah. So, so we're back here less than a week later, and we have the Tika back with a threaded barrel. So today we're going to be shooting suppressed. And when you shoot suppressed, uh, it normally changes your uh, uh, point of impact, but really doesn't matter for us because we changed the scope anyway. So we're going to be zeroing. And then uh, I'll try to put a camera down on the, on the targets this time. So you can uh, see uh, how the ammunition is grouping as we shoot. And stick around and uh, we'll see uh, if we can get some good tight groups uh, with the Tika. On the first target, uh, we're shooting 75 grain VMAX bullets. The first is in a factory load from Night Ops. It's a 75 grain VMAX bullet traveling at about 3,350 feet a second. The load on the left was uh, Doug's uh, 75 grain VMAX loads using IMR 4320 powder. And both of these were going about 3325 to 3350. But the uh, the load with the 4320s uh, produced the best group. 
a little bit under an inch. Okay, this target has the Nosler 95 grain ballistic tips. Uh, I was using IMR 4350 powder, and these were uh, pretty hot. They were traveling at over 3,000 feet per second, and uh, they grouped real well, right in there, just under an inch. So I was happy to see that. I got a comment from a viewer on our last video. He seemed to think that the 1 in 10 twist in the Tinka 243 would not stabilize the heavier bullets but um, this one seems to do very well under an inch and as you'll see in the next target the Hornaday 95 grain SST using IMR 4831 powder did even better I mean this is a great load was shooting about 2900 feet per second and shot a one hole group for three shots this is this is really an outstanding load and this is probably the one I'll use for uh, deer hunting. The day after we went to the range, uh, we did go on a, uh, a short deer hunt. We were uh, successful taking a doe with the uh, 243. So, so now we'll take a look at our hunting video. Well, looks like we got good blood on the dough. Let's see if we can track her up. I thought it didn't go far. Oh, there she is. Right there. Only about 50 yards. Oh, nice doe. All right. Got a nice doe, didn't go far. The Hornaday 95 grain SST did its job and we have venison on the table. Time to go get the ranger and load her up. Here's the exit on the uh, SST. Did a real good job. Put her down real quick. 